So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my quarantine here. That's right. Uh, and there's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is, you know? I'm sure you all are suffering from bad hair days as well these days. But I can't wait for the salons to open up again. You guys are lifesavers. So anyway, uh, today we're gonna be discussing Sun-Venus conjunction in the eighth house of your horoscope. As in what happens when Sun and Venus are both conjunct in the 8th house of your birth chart. And as always, we do not know if you have this particular position, what sign it's in, what nakshatra it's in, along with all the other astrological details. For that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, consultations, and link to my academy, Maga Vedic Astrology Academy, where I'm currently teaching planets through nakshatras. And tomorrow is a very important uh, Nakshatra day that I'm teaching, which is the Magha. There's a very, very secretive, special story that I discuss that I have not discussed with anybody. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be teaching tomorrow. So anyway, uh, let's start with this uh, Sun Venus conjunction. So eighth house. So eighth house, as you know, is represented by secret, hidden, the private. You know, any hidden activity, any secret activity that is, uh, you know, done by a person. And of course, sexual activity is something that is very hidden, very secretive. Even though now we have more porn stars than politicians and more websites than, you know, grain of or more porn websites than grain of sands in this, you know, uh, in this uh, earth, um, still, it is a very secretive activity because Whenever you watch these type of things, you're still in private. You're not doing it out in public. So it is that thing. And then eighth house represents insurance, inheritance, wills and estates, joint assets, spouse's family, spouse's income. So here you have Venus and Sun. And one thing you got to understand, even in this black hole of the eighth house, Sun is like brightening the quality of Venus. So one thing you will understand with this particular conjunction is that a person will somehow come across tantrics in their life. And I'm talking about real tantrics, like people who can do things that many people just think of it as magic. You know, um, these such such people can run to people who can make the dead walk. Now, think about why I said that. These people have the ability to even come out of death. Because if you know the story of Shukracharya, he was given the Mahamrityu Mantra, I believe by Sage Brigu, to bring anybody alive from death. Eighth house being the house of death, transformation, rejuvenation. And Shukra, Venus, who we always slap these, you know, um, titles of create creativity, artist, films, and beauty, we forget who Shukra really originally was and is. He's a renowned tantric. He knows Siddhis that highest of the rishis would wish they had. Because Shiva or uh, Shukra was inside Shiva for 10,000 years learning all of his secrets and then came out of from his semen. This is why Venus also represents semen. And sun is there with Venus, which clearly shows whether it's a man or woman, their sexual appetite is going to be extremely strong. And most definitely their sexual escapades, sexual activities will happen in secret and private, especially very promiscuous activities where not only will they will never admit but none of those things will ever be brought forth into the public it's kind of like becomes that blessings of shukra the other thing we also see that a person is able to rejuvenate themselves bring themselves out of any situation especially after marriage so once this person gets married, and let's say this person is in a, you know, $2 million debt. 
not only that, on top of that, they got some health issues. They got issues in their marriage and issues in marriage will be there. Absolutely. But you as a third party individual will never hear about it because those particular issues of the marriage are always secretive. Even if Venus is not combust, their issues will be there because sun, the enemy is with Venus. It's like, imagine me being on this floor in my house. Okay. If, if sun was like two degrees away from me, Nam Shukracharya, sun would be right here standing with me. But perhaps sun is in that room, that room, that room, that room, you know, it's still there. I can still feel the presence. I still know what I have to deal with sun. We are arch enemies. So those things will happen. But the thing is, through marriage, they're able to bring themselves out out of any situation. And this is again, this is why you must read some of these uh, Vedic Vedantic stories of planets, not just what you hear as bullet points in, let's say, Uttrakal, Mrit, or Bharat Prasha, Hura Shastra, or Varamiras. It is the actual story of who this Surya is, who Shukra is, who Chandra is. You really get to understand, oh my God, you are more than what I just thought. And the other thing we see is that, especially this particular individual, will do extremely well in dramatic arts. And I'm talking about dramatic. Like these people can play some of the best roles of drug addicts, suicidal, you know, uh, roles, mafia roles. Their art will reflect death. Their art will reflect things that you don't want to see. Now think about it. Why is it that it's doing this? Very simple. Originally from the sign of Aries, Sun rules the fifth house of stage performance. Arts, creativity, cinema. Mantras. Okay. So goes now into the eighth house. And originally Scorpio. There's always a soul of Scorpio in the eighth house. It's like you're... It's like you could be in Libra, you could be in Taurus, but that invisible energy is always watching in their eighth house. Venus naturally is the second house of vocal skills, wealth, fame, second house, seventh house of other people, unionship, business, marriage, relationships. And because they're both in the eighth house, they're originally bringing, I don't care if you are a Pisces ascendant, Leo ascendant, Taurus ascendant, when they're in the eighth house, always look at this scenario first that I just said before you look at the fact that sun rules the fourth house Venus rules the first and sixth house well this is going to happen the easiest thing is look at the original form the original godly form of the zodiac signs and planets and you'll get everything out of it this person will also create many many hidden secret powerful relationships especially with politicians uh, government officials, even like underworld, because Venus controls the underworld. And why does Venus control the underworld? Because number one, Venus was born in the nakshatra of Jishta, which is the original eighth house. Venus, directional strength is in the fourth house, which is midnight. Midnight is when the underworld becomes alive. Everything which is hidden, dark, scary, Venus rules there. That, and people think that, well, Venus has direction, uh, directional strength to the fourth house. So it's all about, uh, you know, vehicles and home and beauty and serenity. <laughs> it's like they gave you this surface knowledge and they're like, yeah, you're missing the whole uh, iceberg underneath. It's not because of moon and Venus, uh, you know, control happiness, joy and this and that. Moon is always, remember, moon is always important and necessary in any Vedic ritual, magic ritual, demonic ritual, anything. Moon and moonlight is the most sacred and important. So don't look at these planets lightly. Like, oh, moon and Venus. Oh, I'm sitting with my pina colada on the beach. No, with Venus, you are probably in six feet under and on top of a coffin and doing some kind of a ritual 
to activate some kind of a kundalini inside you you just you don't know you don't you need to know the power of shukra and sun you know obviously because of its authoritativeness his kingly self with venus shows that a person secretly desires to be the king desires to be the queen desires to be the one that everybody needs to have but they'll never show it because it's hidden it's eighth house it's simple okay so anyway guys this was my analysis of uh, venus in the eighth house with sun and one thing i'll also add is that joint assets always increase with this particular sun venus combust or not they make they get money they get treasures okay so anyway this is my analysis of sun venus conjunction the eighth house if you're new to my channel subscribe below if you don't know where your sun venus are placed all the other slots details check out the links here in the shop section otherwise we'll see you tomorrow bye bye